Hello guys, welcome back and welcome kung bago ka sa channel na to. So yung topic natin yun is arithmetic means. So arithmetic means are terms between two non-consecutive terms in an arithmetic sequence. Okay, so for example, so for example, insert two arithmetic means between 2 and 23. So ibig sabihin, yung 2 yung ating first term and then mag-insert tayo na dalawang terms. And then, yung last term natin is 23. Okay? Yun yung ibig sabihin ng arithmetic means. Uh, terms between two non-consecutive terms in an arithmetic sequence. Okay? So, ito yung a sub 1 natin. So, yung hinahanap natin is yung a sub 2 and a sub 3. Okay? So, a sub 4 yung 23. Okay? So, ito yung mga arithmetic means natin. Si a 22 and si a si A2 and si A3. Now, para masolve natin siya, kailangan natin makuha muna yung yung common difference. Okay? Kasi i-add natin yung common difference sa A1 para makuha natin si A2. And then, i-add naman natin yung common difference sa A2 para makuha natin si A3. Okay? So, gamitin natin yung formula ng arithmetic sequence. So, ano yun? A sub N is equal to a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times t. Okay, so natutunan nyo na to. Now, yung hanapin natin is yung si common difference, si d. So, gamitin natin a sub n yung a sub 4. So, a sub 4 is equal to a sub 1, which is 2 plus n. So, n natin is 4 kasi hanap natin si a sub 4. 4 minus 1 times the common difference. Now, alam na natin si A sub 4, that is 23. So, palitan na natin ito ng 23. So, okay. Then, simplify lang natin. So, lipat natin si 2 dito sa kabila. May hindi negative siya, minus 2. And then, simplify natin ito. 4 minus 1, that is 3. Times D, so 3D. Okay. 23 minus 2, that is 21. So, equal to 3D. Then, para masolve natin si D, divide lang tayo ng 3. So, cancel na yung 3, therefore, D is equal to 21 divided by 3, that is 7. So, nakuha na natin si common difference. Now, masasolve na natin si A2 and si A3. So, A2 is equal to A sub 1 plus 7. Okay? I-add lang natin yung common difference para masolve natin si A2. So, therefore, A2 is equal to A sub 1, that is 2 plus 7. So, that is equal to 9. Okay? And then, okay, so 9. And then, si A3 naman is equal to A sub, A sub 2 naman plus the common difference, 7. So, A sub 2 is equal to 9, then plus 7. So, A sub 3 is equal to 16. So, therefore, 16 yung A3. So, yung arithmetic means natin are 9 and 16. And for example, number 2, insert 3 arithmetic means between negative 4 and 8. So, dito naman, yung first term naman natin is negative 4. And then, insert tayo ng tatlong arithmetic means. Last term natin is, and yung last term natin is 8. Okay? So, A sub, so, negative 4 yung ating A sub 1. Then, yung hinahalap natin is A sub 2, A sub 3, and A sub 4. So, yung 8 is yung A sub 1. Okay? So, again, kailangan natin mahanap yung common difference para masolve natin yung mga terms. So, gamitin natin yung formula. So, yung A sub n, palitan natin ng A sub 5. So, A sub 5 is equal to A sub 1, which is negative 4. Plus n, so n natin is 5. 5 minus 1 times d. So ito yung hinahanap natin, si common difference. So yung a sub 5, palitan natin ng 8. Okay? Then lipat natin itong negative 4 dito sa kabila, magiging positive siya. And then 5 minus 1, that is 4. Times d, 4 d. Okay? Then simplify, 8 plus 4, that is 12. 
And then, divide tayo ng 4 para D na lang yung matira. So, D is equal to 12 divided by 4, that's 3. So, therefore, yung common difference natin is 3. So, now, masasolve na natin yung mga terms. So, A sub 2 is equal to A sub 1 plus the common difference. Okay? So, so A sub 1 natin is negative 4. Then, yung common difference natin is 3. So, negative 4 plus 3, that is negative 1. So, A sub 2 is 1. And sa A sub 3 naman, equal naman siya sa A sub 2 plus the common difference. So, tandaan nyo lang, yung term is equal to yung preceding term niya plus the common difference. Okay? So, yung preceding term ng A sub 2 is A sub 1. Yung preceding term ng A sub 3 is A sub 2. Okay? So, A sub 2 is negative 1. Then, yung common difference is 3. So, therefore, A sub 3 is equal to negative 1 plus 2. Negative 1 plus 3, that is positive 2. Okay? And then, lastly, si A sub 4 is equal to A sub 3, na kanyang preceding term, plus the common difference. So, A sub 3 natin is 2, plus the common difference, 3. So, therefore, A sub 4 is equal to 5. So, therefore, yung mga arithmetic means natin is negative 1, positive 2, and 5. Okay? Okay? So, in lang natin yung common difference para makuha natin yung mga next term. Okay? Negative 4 plus 3, that's negative 1. Negative 1 plus 3, that is 2. 2 plus 3, that is 5. 5 plus 3 is 8. Okay? And then, for example, number 3 natin. Insert 4 arithmetic means between 1 third and 11 over 3. Okay, so dito naman. First term natin is 1 third. And then, mag-insert tayo ng 4 arithmetic means. So, 1, 2, 3, 4. Then, yung last term natin is 11 over 3. Okay? So, isab 1 natin to. Hinahanap natin sa isab 2, isab 3, isab 4, and isab 5. And isab 6 yung ating last term. Again, solve natin si common difference. Gamitin natin yung formula. So, for a sub n, gamitin natin sa a sub 6. That is a sub 1, which is 1 third, plus n minus 1. So, n natin is 6. So, so 6 minus 1 times the common difference. So, palitan natin si A sub 6 ng 11 over 3. Okay? So, pwede nyo namang i-diretsyo na yun makalina. Pinakita ko lang yung step by step. So, transpose natin itong 1 third sa kabila. Magiging negative siya. Then, 6 minus 1, that's 5. 5 times D, 5. Okay? Then, 11 over 3 minus 1 third, that is... Copy lang yung denominator. 11 minus 1, that's 10. That's 5D. Then divide, then divide 5, both sides. So, cancel na to. D is equal to 10 divided by 5, that's 2. So, 2 thirds. So, yung common difference is 2 thirds. Now, solve na natin yung mga terms. So, a sub 2 is equal to a sub 1 plus the common difference. So, a sub 1 natin is 1 third plus the common difference, 2 thirds. So, pag, so, pag nag tayo ng fraction, copy lang yung denominator kasi similar sila, similar fractions, add natin yung numerator. 1 plus 2, that is 3. Or, 3 over 3, that is 1. So, a sub 2 is 1. Okay? And then, for a sub 3 naman, a sub 4 plus a sub 2 plus d. Okay? Yung preceding term niya. So, a sub 2 natin is 1 plus the common difference, 2 thirds. And, 3 times 1, that is 3, plus 2, that is 5. Then, copy lang yung denominator. Okay? 
3. So, a sub 3 is equal to 5 thirds. Then, for a sub 4, that is equal to a sub 3 plus the common difference. So, a sub 3 natin, that is 5 thirds. Plus the common difference, 2 thirds. So, similar fraction sila. Copy lang natin yung denominator. Then, add natin yung numerator. 5 plus 2, that is 7. So, a sub 4 is 7. And then, lastly, so a sub 5 is equal to a sub 4 plus the common difference. So, a sub 4 natin is 7 over 3. And then, yung common difference natin, that is 2 thirds. Again, similar fraction. Copy lang yung denominator, then add natin yung 7 plus 2, that's 9. Then, masimplify pa natin. 9 divided by 3, that's 3. So, therefore, a sub 5 natin is 3. So, now, nakuha na natin yung mga terms. So, so a sub 2 is 1. a sub 3 is 5 over 3. a sub 4, that's 7 over 3. Then, yung a sub 5 natin is so, ito na yung mga arithmetic means natin. Okay? So, kung meron kayong mga problems na related sa topic natin, comment below lang guys. And comment below rin kung nakatulong yung video nito. Thank you for watching and uh, huwag nyo kalimutang i-like yung video nito.